Welcome to my channel. I'm Gary Wiryawan and today we're going to talk about this bag right here, the Alpaca Gear Go Sling Mini. Let's go. So today's review of this bag is from a perspective of a photographer. I'm doing photography as a hobby as some of you might already know and I'm always looking for better gear for my photography solution. I have a bunch of camera bags already but I'm always looking for a bag that is not really a camera bag but can also function as a camera bag for my everyday carry situation. I think I already found that bag, the Alpaca Gear Go Sling Mini, this little bag right here. This is not a dedicated camera bag but I can make it work as a camera bag in my own way and today we're going to talk about it. But before we continue with today's video, I just want to say thank you to Alpaca Gear for sending me this bag and also for sponsoring this video. So now let's continue with today's video. So now I want to talk a little bit about the basic specifications of this bag. This bag has a capacity of about 4 liters. It's not too small but also not big. Really the sweet spot in my opinion. It has a very nice material called 500D Kodra HD. I don't exactly know what it means, but it feels very nice. It has enough friction, but still soft. And as a bonus, it is weatherproofed as well. The zippers feel very nice and they are also waterproof and also they are lockable so I can add more security for this bag. The strap is also nice. It feels really good on my body and also it is easily adjustable. You can just pull the tabs on each end and also the release mechanism is what they call fit lock and I think it's really cool. You can just pull the tab right here to release the strap easily. There are three main compartments in this bag. One is the front compartment with two internal pockets for added organization for storing small items. And then one is the rear compartment without any internal organization for storing flat items. And then the other one is the main compartment in the middle right here, which is very spacious, very big, also featuring two internal pockets as well as one divider slot for your iPad mini or Nintendo Switch. There are loops at both sides of strap ends right here and you can easily use it for attaching things like carabiner or other hanging items. But I personally found it very useful to attach my mini tripod, my Manfrotto Pixie mini tripod and it just fits snugly right here. So as I mentioned earlier, I use this bag mainly as my everyday photography bag although this bag isn't specifically designed to carry camera gear. Some of you who followed my channel might already know that I really love camera system that is small, lightweight, easy to carry around but packs a lot of punch and also a lot of fun to use and this Alpaca Gear Go Sling Mini really aligns with that philosophy. I can fit smaller cameras inside with a whole bunch of other photography gears easily inside this bag and they are well protected inside. For me personally, I think the sweet spot of this bag is to carry smaller little cameras like the Panasonic LX100, my Canon G15, or other small mirrorless camera system. My LX100 can easily fit into this bag with a lot of room to spare inside. And just for fun, I can even fit my larger Panasonic GX8 mirrorless camera with a pancake lens inside with the LX100 still inside. Look at it, two cameras, no problem. But in all seriousness, I think even a slightly larger camera like my GX85 can still fit easily inside the Ghostling Mini without too much problem. And there's still lots of room for extra small lens like this Panasonic 35 to 100 and also some other accessories. My typical everyday carry with the Ghostling Mini usually consists of a small camera, either an LX100 or a Panasonic GX8 with a small pancake lens or the Panasonic GX85 with a small pancake lens and then also the Insta360 Go to small little camera and then also a vlogging camera, the DJI Pocket 2, some accessories like my wireless earbuds and also iPad mini, some little bit of accessories like 
pants, notebooks, a wet tissue, and stuff like that. Alpaca Gear also sent me this small little pouch called the Hub Pouch to further organize the contents inside my uh, Ghostling mini bag. With this little pouch, I can further organize smaller items such as my lip balm, flashlight, extra pen, mini tripod for my DJI Pocket 2, and also important photography items such as extra batteries, extra SD cards, and things like that. The best thing about this setup and about the Ghostling mini bag is that the bag doesn't look bulky at all with all the gears inside this bag right now. It doesn't feel weird, it doesn't feel cramped, I can just easily open it and close it and I can access whatever I want easily without any problem with this bag. On the front compartment, I will usually fit smaller flat items such as my little notebook, a wet tissue, a pack of gum, a pen or something similar and they will fit easily on the front compartment right there. In the front compartment, there's also this little key loop that you can attach and detach easily by just pressing this button right here and it can add extra securities for your smaller items such as keys. On the rear compartment, I can easily fit my phone, my passport and other flat items and have them secured against my body so it is more difficult for pickpocket to steal my items. Now walking around with this bag feels really nice. It is very balanced. It doesn't want to tip to one or the other side so it is very comfortable for walking around with all the gear inside. And also as you can see it doesn't even look bulky at all. It just feels balanced, it just feels natural and it doesn't really get in your way. As you can see, I can easily access my camera inside my bag and then I can just turn it on and be ready to shoot anything. So this is perfect for street photography, for urban kind of photography and also for candid photography. And if you just want to look inconspicuous, it's just perfect. And as you can see, the bag doesn't really look like a camera bag, so you're not really attracting too much attention but the bonus point is that you can always have your camera with you inconspicuously and just have something powerful to create photos or videos. And besides for everyday street photography and urban kind of photography, I can see that this bag will also excel when it comes to travel photography as well. You can use this bag for your everyday carry during travel and just make yourself look inconspicuous, not like a pro photographer who's carrying big camera bags around with lots of gears. Again, I want to emphasize that this is not a camera bag and it doesn't scream camera bag at all so I don't have to worry when I go inside a mall, a restaurant, when I'm walking around the city with all my camera gears inside. Nobody's gonna kick me out because I look like a professional photographer and that's really nice. Also, in my own personal opinion, I really think this bag looks handsome. It really looks nice. I really enjoy the design. Alpaca Gear is not a fashion brand per se, so it doesn't have really any obnoxious kind of design, any weird gaudy looking kind of feature on the bag, and that doesn't make it uh, conspicuous at all when you're walking around the town. You don't draw any attention. But also it doesn't scream uh, tactical bag. It just looks very minimalistic. There's not a lot of brandings except on the zippers. And it doesn't look out of place whether I'm wearing t-shirts or dress shirts, whether I'm wearing my work outfit or my casual outfit. All in all, I can say that the Ghostling Mini is a really versatile sling bag and it is very dependable for my everyday photography. And also, this bag really inspires me to always bring my camera so that I can take more picture and have more fun with my photography hobby. And if, for example, I don't feel like I want to carry my camera gear with me, I still think the Ghostling Mini is very useful for me as my everyday carry bag. It is small enough that it doesn't look bulky and it really helps me to carry smaller non-photographic items such as my portable Wi-Fi, my wallet, my lotion, my in-ear monitor headphones, my alcohol spray, my keys, my power bank, my small iPad, and so on. 
Now that I've talked about all the good things about the Ghostling Mini, now it's time for me to talk about some negative points about this bag. And frankly speaking, there's not a lot of negative points. I can only found a couple of negative points. First negative point is the strap length. I personally prefer to wear this bag as a shoulder bag and that means I want to have the strap longer so that it's dangling around my hip area, not around my stomach area. The strap on the Ghostling Mini in my personal opinion is not long enough. And also on the website, it mentions that you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Well, not really. It's too short for a shoulder bag. But for a sling bag, for a fanny pack kind of thing, uh, I think it works really well for that situation. Second negative point is the material. I really think the material is fantastic. It's soft, it just provides enough texture so that it's not slippery and it just feels very balanced and really good on the hand and on the body. But, but it catches dust really easily. I live in a really dusty environment and uh, this bag really gets dusty really fast, but it's not a problem. You can just take a brush and the dust will come off easily even if you just rub it with your hands. To summarize, I really enjoy using this Ghostling Mini by Alpaca Gear. I've been enjoying this bag for almost two weeks and I really think I will continue to enjoy this bag for a long time. I can really recommend this bag for you who are looking for a small non-camera bag that can function as a camera bag or also for somebody who's just looking for a sling bag in general. As some of you who already followed my channel, you all know by now that I really emphasize the importance of not just having a great result when it comes to photography. I also emphasize the need to have fun to enjoy the process of doing photography. And this bag really helps with that. The Ghostling Mini enables me to bring my camera everywhere with me uh, whenever I go. And I always have a camera ready with me. And that means I can take more photographs and I can have more fun with my photography hobby. And once again, Thank you Alpaca Gear for sending me the Ghostling Mini and some other accessories for review and for sponsoring this video. Frankly speaking, without even you sponsoring and sending me stuff, I will still buy this product anyway because it's just so good. If you want to learn more about Alpaca Gear, Ghostling Mini and some of their other products, you can go check out their website at alpacagear.com. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that this video is useful for you. Please comment down below. What is your camera pack that you're currently using right now? And if you have any question about the Ghostling Mini or any other gear that I'm using in this video, please comment down below and I will try to answer them as well. Also, don't forget to support my small channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. It will really help me to motivate me to keep making these videos for you. Thank you and goodbye.